What is up you guys and welcome to a brand new tutorial and gameplay of Pokemon Go. So today we're gonna prove the theory of the 10th Pokestop. But not only that, we're actually gonna prove if you can repeat Pokestop, if there's anything else that interferes, if you open a Pokestop, it breaks the chain or not. Everything will be answered in today's episode. So on your left side, it's me driving around town with a friend. So I'm on the passenger seat just collecting Pokestops. We collected 20 Pokestops in a row without repeating any Pokestop. So 20 in a row, even though a few of them didn't work, it's still 20 Pokestops in a row. And on the right side, it's 10 Pokestops, but those were repeated. So we're going to find out the results if anything changes or not. So let's start with the 20 Pokestop. A lot of people have asked me, well, if you open a Pokestop by any chance, you're going too fast and then it says it's too far away, you are not able to open it, does it break the chain? And no, guys. So your 10th Pokestop, even if you don't catch it, even if you open it and close it, it has any problems, it still do not break the chain. So if you manage to catch 10 Pokestops in a row without repeating any of the Pokestop, your 10th one will be double. So you get double experience and double the items. But the fun fact here, it's guaranteed the 10 Pokestop will always have an egg. So if you have a space on your bag, you're sure to get an egg. And most people have said that that egg, usually it's five or even 10 kilometers. So that's a lot of fun. A lot of people are looking for the 10 kilometer eggs and that might be your way. So we kept going with the chain. A lot of people also ask, well, if you've done this once, can you do it twice? And yes, we managed to get 20 Pokestops and it just happened again. On the 20th, double the experience and double the items. Now, on the right side of your screen, we're now going to talk about repeating Pokestops. A lot of people ask, can you just repeat Pokestops as long as you stay in the half hour period? And no. Unfortunately, guys, as you can see from the gameplay, I had to wait a little bit. I was going around town repeating the same Pokestops. I had to wait until they refreshed. But no, if you repeat any of the Pokestops, the chain breaks. So you're not going to be able to get the double experience bonus. Now, I know it's a little bit hard for a lot of people that live in small towns and don't have that many Pokestops. But either way, guys, my best advice here is if you're on a bus, if you're traveling or anything like this, turn in your Pokemon Go and open Pokestops because you're never going to repeat. The car is just going by and you're just collecting the items. Now, the fun fact that I've noticed about Pokemon Go is if I try to open a Pokestop before it actually opens the circle, it usually fails even after I spend when I'm in range. So I usually wait until it opens up the blue circle, click on it really fast and then just spin. Usually it synchronizes a lot faster. So that's my advice if you want to collect Pokemon and Pokestops in the go. Another question a lot of people have, if you click a Pokemon, even if you're in a car and driving, even if you go far away from it, if you clicked on it, you're guaranteed to have a chance of capturing. You do not need to be in range. After you click, it open up the screen, you have total chance of capturing. Now, a lot of people are asking me on the comments, what are the best defender Pokemons? What are the best move sets? What are the best offensive Pokemons and which move sets? So those tutorials will come tomorrow and the day after. So stay tuned guys. I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials. Stay tuned, subscribe, support the channel. I thank you all and train on.